So this video is kind of like a parody of Ray William Johnson at the same time it is talking about him and talking about his story and stuff. So let's start with like how Ray William Johnson became popular before like we get into the main stuff about this video. So Ray William Johnson first, like he had the idea of reacting to big popular videos, capitalizing off of successful videos while also showcasing his own personality. Instead of him being like other reaction channels where they were just like, whoa, did, did, did you see that? Whoa, that, wow, that was so cool. Uh, he would go, wow. That reminds me of that one time I went to Germany. Never going back. Basically like that. That was an example. I, that was never from the show. Um, but like he would do that basically. And he got super popular because of it, and his most popular video was Don't Call Me Fat, where he had reacted to an overweight guy talking about trolls and stuff. And, yeah, that, that definitely was the one that, like, that one deserved the amount of views it got. <clears throat> and, like, back in the day, YouTubers couldn't make money. And so what they would do is they would work with MCNs, or multi-channel networks. The first time I heard of an MCN was when... The odd ones out was talking about legal scams. Um, and the MCN that Ray William Johnson joined was Maker Studios, which pretty big MCN and was also like and Maker Studios also worked with Stampy Longhead and was also this well, was bought by Disney and also the, the downfall of Stampy too. Anyhow, with Maker, he, like he got a better production studio. Um, and, like, he also got the opportunity to do Your Favorite Martian in the Ladybug, or Ladybug Animation Studio, um, I think it was, was the one who started doing the animation, yeah, for the music videos. And, <clears throat> yeah, Your Favorite Martian was born. Then, you know, like, eventually, uh, he changed the, he worked with a different studio, I do not remember the name of the studio that he worked with for the animation. Uh, like, after the first one. So, let's just say it was, I don't know, Maker Studios' animation department or something. Uh, but, like, then afterwards, there were some things with, like, Ray William Johnson talking with the CEO of Maker Studios, and he was like, whoa, you're convicted felon or something? Uh, and, like, he shut down the, uh, Your Favorite Martian before he got to release the album. And then he eventually was like, we're, se we're separating ties, maker. And so he separated ties and then was also, uh, then he also shut down Equals, uh, like then he also left as the host of Equals 3 because like it didn't fulfill him creatively anymore. Because he got, uh, he would get depressed when like he would like feel like I've been doing this too long, I'm depressed. And so, like, he lost the passion for making Equals 3. And he was like, I want to cancel it, but I know you guys do not want it canceled, so I'm going to have a new host. And, like, the new host, after a while, was Robbie. Uh, Robbie Potts. And, like, he was pretty well received, but, like, definitely more dislikes on the videos. And, like, they went down in viewerships, definitely. But after a while, Robbie's contract expired. And I don't remember her name, Sasha, or something. People did not like her. Odd race comments that she would make. Uh, <clears throat> and then by the time like her contract expired, it was already too late. And the new host wasn't there for much long before the show was canceled. Because of the fact that uh, one of the clips from somewhere was used in one of the videos. And they didn't like that. So they were just like, canceling equals three. And kind of stayed that way for a couple of years until... The 2020s, where Ray started uploading on TikTok again. Well, he started uploading on TikTok pretty much just like Equals 3, but in less than 60 second videos. And he gained traction again and gained back his 10 million subscribers that he had. And then in 2022, he got married. And then he also announced that uh, Your Favorite Martian was coming back. And this is the part where whenever I, like, we're actually already past the part where I see people, 
leave off when I find, like, I've tried finding videos on Ray William Johnson of people explaining how he is today. But I can't. I can't find a single one. I've only been able to find ones that stop before here. Before, like, uh, this, like where they, they've stopped. Either before he started making shorts content or after, but before he got married. <clears throat> and so, like, this part is... It's just me from what I've been able to find. And, like, so, like, he got, he got successful and stuff, and I, that's when I started watching him, when he started doing, like, the YouTube shorts and TikToks and stuff. Uh, and, like, with Your Favorite Martian coming back, that was awesome, too. And then 2023, I don't know what he decided to do, but that's really when Ray William Johnson like kind of went down a bit like I have not heard a single person talk about this but like this is where I'd say he's kind of going downhill a bit again <clears throat> where he started doing less comedy videos he started to do more like couple minute long videos like I am right now and yeah he would still post shorts but like it would just be like go to the long form video to find the full story and then like eventually he just posted only those and it was like telling stories where it's like so this guy right here let's call him joshua so joshua was going to work like you get it it was like that for like four minutes and it was interesting to hear these stories but that's not what i i didn't follow ray william johnson to hear stories about a guy who did a crime or something. I followed for comedy. And hear stuff on his band. Which he hasn't posted anything on his like on his YouTube channel to do with his band for a while. Like the last one that he promoted was a while ago. And when I say promoted, I mean using the sound, like the song, in one of the videos. Um, and like where it was noticeable. That was months ago, and it was just, like, three seconds. Uh, and then, like, he hasn't posted any shorts on the Your Favorite Martian channel for a while. Like, there's pretty much no promotion anymore behind the music videos. And then now the music video has a different team, I don't know. I know that, like, the first part of Generation 2, Your Favorite Martian has been animated by Ladybug, but I don't know about the second part, which is where we end now. That started with the trauma song. I don't remember the name of the team, but I do know it's a different team now. <clears throat> and, like, right now, Ray William Johnson is actively worse than what he used to be. I still watch his vid videos daily, but I'd much rather, like, have him like, maybe a year ago, from when he was, like, making comedy videos and stuff, and being, like, and also subtly uh, having, or promoting his songs in the video, like, that's where I'd say he was at his best, because, like, they were short-form content, and they weren't being, like, oh my gosh, how did that fly? Because, like, you know what I mean, it was, like, back in 2020, 2010 to 2014 YouTube, he, he got away with a lot of stuff that he wouldn't get away with now. And so, like, I wish that Ray William Johnson was the same and, like, would still do comedy, but I guess not anymore. And I don't know what he has planned for the future. He's now at six, 15 million subscribers, and I think close to 16 million. I'm glad he's doing successful, but, like, his older content style is better and like i've been thinking of this video idea for a while anywho thanks for watching the video check out his channel if you haven't um i don't know i'm just ready to upload this and stop my voice kind of hurts <laughs>